big man. I just want to fight with everyone else. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! 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 Alright, don't worry about it. Looks like you use the bumpers. You don't want the bumpers. Life doesn't give you bumpers. We have a new student joining us today. Hey, dude. Welcome to the suck. So Mom. Have you been drinking? A little bit. Oh. Hey. What do you want to be, Mason? What do you want to do? Yeah, I mean, I think I was, I was turning 40, and I'd been a parent for about eight years, and I wanted to, I guess, say something about childhood. I was trying to make a movie about childhood, but then the dilemma hit me of like, well, what part of childhood? All my ideas were all over the place. I had memories of being 14 and seven, and I didn't know how to, just the practicality of shooting with an actor and then casting another actor none of it made sense I, I couldn't grab the story so finally I just had this one big idea well how about just get the same cast and we'll film a little bit each year like could you do that would that work as a movie what if we filmed why couldn't you film a little bit and just watch these people just grow up on camera within one film that seemed like such a unique way to tell a story you know, it's not a documentary, it's a story. But I was trying to tell the story of the whole maturation process, the whole childhood, boyhood, and youth, you know, aspect of growing up. But the movie's also about parenting, too. To me, it all comes down to storytelling. You know, like, it was just, the film was going to capture these fictional, this fictional family aging through this time period and it was going to go kind of where they went to some degree, narratively speaking. Yeah, it was such an unusual project. This was like an art project. Every year we just got together and filmed that year's material and it was kind of fun to, it became kind of a summer camp thing where people would get back together, a certain crew, you know, would come back year after year. And I think it was rewarding for everyone to see like how the kids were growing up. For me, it was ongoing. You know, we would edit, I would watch the film and work on it throughout the year and, you know, think a lot about it, work with the kids and cast here and there. But every year production felt like kind of a, a fu very fun reunion. In 2002, acclaimed film director Richard Linklater cast a six-year-old boy. Over the next 12 years, they made film history. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! <laughs> Mom, have you been drinking? A little bit. Oh, hey. When you get older, you can save up and buy a car of your own. Be cool like I used to be.
하나 우린 원래 하나 I was trying to make a movie about childhood. I just had this one big idea. Well, how about just get the same cast and we'll film a little bit each year. Like, could you do that? Would that work as a movie? Oops. Wait a The film was going to capture this fictional family aging for over 12 years. You know, it's not a documentary. It's a story. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! Richard called me and he asked me, what are you going to be doing the next 12 years? And then he told me about this idea. I said, I want to do it. <laughs> Boyhood is a complete original. It's the first movie that I've ever done that is truly not like another movie. It was such a leap of faith. It was so much to ask of everyone. For Eller to mature on camera in one film, it's a big thing not many actors have gone through. It was amazing to watch this boy and girl grow up. Watching them at first, kind of just being little kids who kind of do cute things, until they became contributors. Action! The production itself gained momentum over the years. Every year felt like kind of a very fun reunion. It was incredible to work with these people every year. Look forward to going back. It was like family. So There's a certain commonality to growing up. Mom. There's something so normal in a certain way about Mason's story that I really always felt it would be about moments everyone shares. It's something people identify with. With the passage of time, life is beautiful and interesting enough as it is, and you don't need to manufacture a lot of falsehood. At some point, you're no longer growing up, you're aging, but no one can pinpoint that moment exactly. When you get older, you can save up and buy a car of your own. Be cool like I used to be. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced. We filmed for 12 years. Nobody's ever done that before. The hardest thing was when it ended. I wanted to continue shooting it for the rest of my life, and I never wanted anyone to be allowed to see it. <laughs> One story made up of a lot of little pieces.